Schwarz. Twenty years after people, the 7,000-foot sea wall protecting the center of Seattle from the salt waters of Puget Sound is about to give way. Downtown area of Seattle at one time was a salt marsh. Uh, sea walls were built to keep the tide from coming up and into the town. First built in 1934, the wall's wooden supports have long been undermined by flea-sized 14-leg crustaceans called gribbles. To feed their need for nitrogen, the seagoing gribbles chew through timbers to eat microorganisms in the wood. Gribbles wrecked two of Columbus's ships in 1502 and ate through all the exterior wood on the sunken Titanic. Now, the gribbles have doomed the Seattle sea wall. Uncontrolled seawater rushes in, turning much of the center of Seattle back into a saltwater marsh. <laughs> 